Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Alright, I'm going to talk about uh, adding drop thumb into songs for a minute here. Um, I have a lot of people ask me stuff about drop thumb and how to uh, practice it, you know, and how to throw it into songs. So, I'm going to take just everybody knows this song, Cripple Creek, and we're going to throw in a couple drop thumbs. Here's the first part of Cripple Creek, played just straight. sort of the way I play. Okay. Now, where can we add drop thumbs in? Okay. So you got to think, where do I have enough time? All right. Before I get to the next melody note. And when I put that melody note in there, I want it to be part of the drop thumb or not. You know, these are things to think of. There's also many ways you can do the drop thumb, all right? So let me do it one way and then I'll do another way in the same spot. Another way, a fancier way that sounds neater would be like this. Okay, I'll do that again. Okay, I'll do it the first way. So what I'm doing there is I'm going, I'm dropping down with my thumb onto the second string. So I'm doing first string, second fret, thumb on the second string, first fret, and then I'm doing first string and then thumb, all right? So just practice that a little bit. Alright, so. Okay, so that would be a good spot. Now, I just did that on the first and second string. Let's do it on the second, third string. Same fretting over here. Hear how that sounds different? do it the first way. Second way. So we've added a drop thumb there in that first little section. Okay. You can practice it like this. It's fun. It sounds good. And it adds double thumbing into your practice. It incorporates it. Okay. And you can experiment around with which strings to use. Okay, so that was the first part. We added one in there. The, ne the next part goes. Okay. If you can't find a place for it quickly, let it go. So I'm not going to put one in that part. So we've got. Sounds good, doesn't it? Okay. Or we could do that second way. Okay. Now we do the A part again, and you can leave that drop thumb in at the same spot. So when we get to the B part, which would go like this. Another way I like to play it is this. So I'm going to keep that part. And that's where I'm going to do my drop thumb. So I'm going to do... Thank you. 
added two drop thumbs in there, so that makes four drop thumbs because we do A A B B, right? So we've got. idea of sort of how to do that. Anytime you have anytime you have a double thumb you can have a drop thumb. Um, so I, I like that drop uh, double thumb right here. And that's where I did the drop the drop thumb. Okay? So think about that on any song. So let's look at old Joe Clark. double thumb in, wasn't it? I don't have to play it with it. Okay, so now with some of that double thumb in, let's put some drop thumb in there. See, I lost my rhythm there. So you can put too many drop thumbs in. So you just have to listen to it and hear it. Okay. Okay. When things don't sound right, don't use them. Experiment with it when you go, aha, I think that sounded good. What did I do? Now you have to go back and remember. See, I screwed it up there, didn't I? So when you slow it down, you can really do it better. down you can really hear it. So here we go. Sometimes leave it out. places, a couple of places, and a couple of different songs. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that. Got something out of it. And before I go, I always want to remind you that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye, y'all.